हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सम ऑफ माई स्लाइड्स दैट आई हैव प्रपेयर्ड इन माई एम एस सी बॉटनी एंड दीज आर सम ऑफ द स्लाइड्स रिलेटेड टू साइकस दीज आर वेरी गुड सेक्शंस दैट आर प्रपेयर बाई मी एंड माई फ्रेंड्स सो लेट स्टार्ट First of all I want to show you the habit of a cycas plant so this is basically a cycas plant this is a very small plant okay however the original trees are very extremely long and these are very slow growing trees okay so this is basically the basal portion of the plant these are basically the foliage leaves these are extremely long leaves okay so this is a plant body of cycas so the next one is the coloroid root so this one is the section uh, or portion of a coloroid root as you can see in this uh, these are basically dichotomously branched and highly coiled structures that give the appearance of a coral so these are the coloroid root of cycas so this one is the coloroid root transfer section okay uh, and this is viewed under a dissecting microscope and in this section you will be able to clearly see the three cortical regions that is the outer cortex the middle algal zone and the inner cortex of course the steeler portion is not uh, clearly visible in this section which is a triad xylem uh, but uh, in order to uh, take up the overall appearance of the coloroid root transfer section uh, it is placed under a dissecting microscope so in the dissecting microscope you will be able to see clearly the overall appearance of the transverse section so these are a, a portion of a normal root of cycas and lots of transverse section that has been uh, uh, placed in a petri dish and what uh, we do uh, doing a section cutting is that we cut lots of section of the material and we select the thinner section for the preparation of our slide as you can see in this uh, image that this one is the thinner section and we place that section for further uh, processing um, for permanent slide preparation so this one is a section of normal root of the cycas and uh, this is a transverse section of the normal root that is placed under a compound microscope okay in this section you will be able to see all the cells very clearly uh, this one is the xylem portion these are the xylem okay? okay so these are the cells of the xylem uh, the cork cells is also there outside okay and the other cells are also clearly visible in this section so that's what a normal root ts looks in a compound microscope now this one is a slight a portion of a cycas wood uh, as you can see in this uh, image okay so this one is a portion of cycas wood you have to cut lots of sections from the cycas wood from different angles like you have to cut tls you have to cut rls uh, from this wood so this one is cycas revoluta leaf which consists of a basal rachis on which there are leaflets that are attached okay so this is cycas revoluta leaf these are basically the portions of the cycas revoluta leaflet as you can see uh, th there is a single midrib which is slightly swollen okay when you cut the section you will be able to see lots of cells in the section and i will show you how it appears in on the slide so this is section of cycas revoluta leaflet this is a transverse section of a cycas revoluta leaflet and it is unstained it is not stained yet uh, so this is the transverse section as you can see in this section you will be able to clearly see the epidermis the hypodermis which is slightly sclerenchymatous okay the palisade cells which are these okay this is the central bundle sheath and the vascular bundles are there the stomata the sunken stomata is also clearly visible in this slide okay and the, the these are the accessory transfusion tissues so this is about the transfer section of a cycas leaflet let me zoom it for you uh, so as you can see clearly the sclerenchymata cells the palisade cells the vascular bundle in the center okay uh, the accessory transfusion tissues and many more so this is stained preparation of cycas revoluta leaflet of course the section is uh, damaged a lot due to uh, processing and staining and then mounting so it's not clearly an intact section but uh, 
it, the staining is fine and the cells are very clearly seen so in this section you will be able to see the sclerenchymata cells the hypodermis uh, the accessory transfusion tissues is are also seen in this section uh, the parenchymata region and the central uh, steeler portion or the central bundle sheath is also there along with the centripetal centrifugal xylem and the phloem okay in this section you will be able to see clearly the uh, sclerenchymata cells at the tip okay these are the sclerenchymata cells the palisade cells are uh, damaged while mounting okay uh, these are the accessory transfusion tissues uh, this the, the, the central portion is the bundle sheath region in which there is a uh, centripetal xylem and uh, the centrifugal xylem in patches uh, along with the cambium and phloem okay so this one is cycus sarsinalis leaflet okay uh, as you can see in this leaflet this is slightly wider okay in comparison to the cycus revoluta leaflet the cycus revoluta leaflet is uh, less in width however the cycus sarsinalis leaflet is much wide okay and uh, in this in the section of the cycus sarsinalis the major difference is that the cycus sarsinalis leaflet has a straight margins okay while on the other hand in the case of cycus revoluta you will be able to see curved margins within the leaflet okay so this is a cycus sarsinalis leaflet transfer section and this is basically the uh, bundle sheath region or the region in which there are uh, centripetal xylem centrifugal xylem and phloem okay the outer boundary is the bundle sheath okay so this is the transfer section of the cycus sarsinalis leaflet this is a microsporophyll of cycus as you can see in this uh, image uh, so as we have discussed in our previous video that the microsporophyll consists of two sides it has an adaxial side and it has an abaxial side on the abaxial side we will have microsporangia in the form of sorus okay and within the microsporangia there are microspores okay so this is the microsporophyll of cycus these are the pollen grains of the cycus okay when you took out uh, a little uh, pollen grains from the microspore ng and when you place it over a slide containing a glycerin then you will be able to see such type of view uh, these are the pollen grains let me zoom it for you so these are the pollen grains uh, in the case of cycus we will be able to see characteristic boat shaped pollen grains okay uh, the this section is in low power of the microscope okay uh, i will show you it high power also so this is the view of a pollen grain of cycus which is characteristic boat shaped pollen grains within the high power as you can see it clearly these are the boat shaped pollen grains of the cycus when you place it under a microscope you will be able to see such kind of view that what an amazing view it is okay so these are the boat shaped pollen grains in the case of cycus so these are all my sections that I have prepared in my MSc Botany and I want to share it with you. So I prepared a video for this. Okay, so if you like the video, just subscribe to my channel for further updates and thank you so much.